Four, good morning, good evening, four, good afternoon, three, and welcome two, to another Xenotic Duel commentary. So this one is Drainer versus Wolf Snipe. We're going to be on Drainer's POV the whole time. And we're going to be on Silent Siege. So this is a bit of an old demo, just haven't got round to it. But I needed some warm-up for something later, so we're going to be taking this one first. Drainer going to be playing quite a slow paced game at the minute, just trying to stack up a little bit. Wolf's not going to be just finding a little bit of damage, but not all that much. Drainer with a nice pick up, getting that second armour. Here's Wolf Snipe take the Mega, and now we're going to be trying to get some damage in. Neither of these players hitting so hard, neither really wanting to push in. Now Drain has got the next. Might be pushing in now, though. Adding that next to your arsenal really helps you be able to push in a lot more, and on this map with a long, sort of more longer sight lines. Gives you an ability to get a bit more damage across the map. And a nice steal there from Drainer, being able to pick up that Mega. Wolf Snipe now backing off, probably going to be trying to pick up this uh, Mega Armor, the 100 Armor. Going to get taken down though, Drainer needs to get up top quick. Should be able to make this blasted jump. Eh, yeah, well, it's the backup jump. Still gets there in time to be able to pick up the armor. And now Wolf Snipe down at the bottom, getting pushed into. Going to be able to get away from here though, but loses the Mega again, and now the items are split. Drainer has a much better chance, and it's a beautiful move up. Wolf Snipe just dodging that shot. These guys are very evenly matched. I've been told this is a very close game. We were practicing before spamming through those wall bangs, practicing all in the wall up. Practicing all the wall bangs, so we should be seeing a few of those, especially on that armor. Wolf Snipe going to be getting a decent amount of damage in. Drainer just trying to duck out of there, can't quite connect any rockets. Wolf Snipe moving completely unpredictably, it seems. Turns up in the most unpredictable of places. You would not expect someone to be stood on that ledge there, I don't think. But a beautiful air shot. Going to take Wolf Snipe out. Drainer just getting away with that fight though. Didn't really see the health there. Only just managing to get away. Now taking a lot of damage. Wolf Snipe blows himself up with the Hagar. Easily done in a fight. Especially when you push in early. Wolf Snipe. Is on minus one. Going to be pushing in a lot of damage with that Electro. Wolf Snipe is very good at knowing when to position the Electro. Because it's not a weapon you can just use all the time. You can in some cases just use it all the time. But really it's uh, much better to position it in those tight corridors. When you know someone's around that corner. And you know that they can't really get out of it. So that was... Very well played Electro from Wolf Snipe. Good shot there from Drainer. Finds the connection here. These, they really have been practicing these wall bangs. I did not know that one existed. I know a couple of them, but that's quite an impressive wall bang to have in your arsenal. It's just showing the understanding of this map now and these guys are in the newer player area Wolfson has played quite a lot but still in that sort of newer player um, in with that newer player crowd and Drainer fairly new to the whole game Wolfson I'm going to pick up the first frag for his game though and Drainer with just trying to move out very quickly, just missing a few blaster shots there and a little bit of movement, but did manage to get out very well, taking very little damage actually from Wolf Snipe. Now Wolf Snipe wants to push, knowing Drainer has no armor really, 
to speak of. Has picked up a few shards. There are a few shards around this map. You can stack up on the lower levels, which is where you're probably going to end up if you're out of control. So it does help you. Very slow paced game today though. Two frags on the board. Wolf Snipe with one, but a suicide. We're five minutes into it. Drainer picks up another. Wolf Snipe really keeping uh, Drainer pinned to the edge here and really trying to suck the control from him. But. He's not able to get the control himself. The control is either in Drainer's favour and unfortunately looking the wrong way there, Wolf Snipe. Yeah, the control is either in Drainer's favour or going towards uh, Wolf Snipe. But Drainer committing a very few mistakes in this map, actually. Wolf Snipe. I can't quite tell if they're mistakes or just. Um, just being outplayed in general. A beautiful shot there though. That was a very well positioned looking. Very good. But yeah from this POV I can't really see if. Some of the mistakes Wolf Snipe appears to be making. Are actual mistakes. Or if they're. More. Just being outplayed. Which. Is more forcing your opponent to make mistakes. That was very good. Wolf Snipe's pushed in. Should be able to get this armor, but might be a little bit early. We should have got it by now. I'm going to be pushing in hot. This map can be played extremely quickly, so we have only got about three and a bit minutes left on the clock. But four frags in three and a bit minutes on this map. If you can raise the pace, absolutely doable. Beautiful shot from Grainer. Absolutely pinpointing, looking directly where he thought Wolf Snipe was going to be coming from. And then firing the shot as Wolf Snipe came around. But great prediction there. Again, great prediction uh, using the audio cues for where Wolf Snipe was going to be coming from. And now into a direct fight. Wolf Snipe has much better stack and he's going to take Drainer out. Drainer now looking to stack up. But isn't going to want to take too much damage here. Nice pin with that machine gun. It's a panic weapon but Wolf Snipe a bit of a misplay there to be honest. Pushing in to that machine gun. It's not the best weapon in the game. But I think Drainer's going to get caught out by it. Yes, it's such a powerful weapon. You can do so much damage to someone. And in a panic situation, just spam it out. And it can net you a kill. It can at least get your opponent down to extremely low health. Or knock off whatever item they've just been able to pick up. So it is important to know when to use it. A nice prediction rocket there. Curving it round through the corridors and getting Drainer up on that next platform. Drainer just spamming out, trying to feel out where Wolf Snipe is. He's going to be pushing in very hard here. He should be able to pick. Doesn't quite get the armor, and Drainer's going to get away with eight health. Wolf Snipe, a slight. Probably a couple of pixels of miss movement there. Cost him that fight. And now we've got a minute left to go. Wolf step has got a bit of a job to bring this back in. But it's certainly not impossible at this point. Drainer just playing a very defensive game, waiting around this armour, pretending that it's only just been taken, I assume. And that'll throw Wolf Snipe fairly considerably off the uh, trail. It is only going to be for one armour cycle, but it's still something. And Wolf Snipe flying in here extremely quickly, doing a lot of damage with that Electro. Again, great timing and use of the Electro in close quarters combat. People don't make enough use of it, really. 
It's an extremely powerful weapon. It's very difficult to use, but it's extremely powerful. Extremely annoying when you have it used against you, but uh, yeah. Final frag of the game. That's going to be GG. That was a close game, though. Uh, both players taking it to a very nice position at the end. Wolfstrip made a few mistakes, uh, but as did Drainer for a couple of those kills, just pushing in against the machine gun was uh, one of the bo both of them made that same mistake. It is a difficult thing to not do. Machine gun, you feel that your opponent's weak if they just spawned next to the machine gun. The machine gun is an extremely powerful weapon. It has enough knockback to actually put you off your movement. So that's something I don't think people sometimes realise. It does have quite a fair bit of knockback, so it will put you off your movement ever so slightly. But that was a very good game. Congratulations to both of the players. So if you have some demos that I can cast, please send them over to me. I am MXCam on IRC and we'll find out some way to get the demo across with whatever sort of function we need. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.